Joining me right now is the Bonson Group founder and managing partner, David Bonson. And David, it's always great to have you on the program. Thanks very much for joining us. What do you make of this uh, big rally from the lows, up 30 percent on the major averages, even in the face of all of these bad headlines with uh, bankruptcies, a weak economy and the coronavirus pandemic? Well, it certainly feels a little long in the tooth, but I do think that it's a healthy, a healthy reminder Markets are always forward-looking. They're discounting mechanisms. I think so much of that bad news was already priced in. And there's this overall feeling of optimism going forward that things will be able to get better. It's going to be slow. It's going to take time. But I think markets are telling you that we're not going to be in a secular or structural recession. It's going to be somewhat transitory. Yeah, Dagan McDowell, markets are trading up from the lows, even though the whole country is not open yet. But they're trying to look ahead. You've got companies like Apple, 3M, Walmart, Coca-Cola have actually raised dividends despite the economic turmoil caused by coronavirus. Apple is that rare exception in terms of the cash hoard it was sitting on going into this by uh, this virus when corporate debt was at a record, which, of course, Stephanie Pomboy has talked about that endlessly. But I want David to explain how is it that you have the highest unemployment in this country since the Great Depression. And it's it's clearly higher than 20 percent if you look at all the factors. But the Nasdaq is up year to date. At the end of last week, the Nasdaq was up more than one and a half percent year to date. That doesn't make sense. Well, I think that a few of those big cap companies that are creating not only that Nasdaq move, but they're also a huge portion of the S&P 500 as well. Right now, two companies, Apple and Microsoft, are a higher market cap than the entire real estate, utilities, energy, and materials sector put together. Wow. Two companies, more than four <laughs> sectors. That's unbelievable. So I think I think that those things feel a little bit uh, frothy. But I also believe that if Fed policy, where do people want to go in a w- really weird way? And I'm not sure it's totally healthy, but large cap growth yeah. sort of becomes a cash alternative because there's just nowhere for investors yeah. to go. Of course, we prefer yeah. fundamental dividend growth names. Well, that's what I was just going to say. We just showed a list of companies that have actually raised their dividends uh, in this period. How do you allocate capital here? We're wrapping up. So real quick, do you want to buy dividend players? There's a good story in the journal this morning about small caps doing well. The Russell, are you in small caps or do you want to just take to the sidelines amid this uncertainty? How do you invest real quick? No, we don't want to go to the sidelines. Our clients need a return premium. They need cash flow. We want dividend growers, but they have to be able to sustain the dividend. Every name on that list are names we own. We believe they will keep the dividend and keep growing it. Those are where you want to be. All right. We will leave it there. David, it's great to see you. Thank you, sir. We will see you soon. Stay safe. We'll be right back right here.